A child is in critical condition after being found floating in a pond in Westmoreland County. The person who found the toddler called for help, then attempted CPR. Ross Gadotti joins us live now with the latest. Ross. Yeah, the woman who was watching the child had another little kid to worry about, as well as her own ailing mother. And this one year or two year old boy just kind of walked away. She was the one who found the child, and the baby is alive. The toddler is alive today because a long time ago she learned how to save a life. According to neighbors and first responders, the two year old boy wandered out of this home on Longview Drive in Sewickley Township and straight into danger. She turned away from the two-year-old for a second. Neighbor Andy Zorochik speaking to the grandmother who was trying to watch the child, his older sibling, as well as tend to her own ailing mother when it all happened. He ended up in the fish pond. First responders tell us the boy was in the water for at least four minutes and unresponsive. The grandmother was the one who discovered the child. He was uh, needed resuscitated. And thanks to the efforts of his grandmother, he was. He was breathing, he was crying the whole deal, but they wanted to check his vitals, that, uh, rather check him out better at children's. Andy Zorovchik telling KDKA the child's rescuer learned CPR and how to deal with a drowning victim long ago. She also told him this. As soon as it happened, she clicked in just like that. Pretty amazing things all uh, when you consider what happened. She kept her uh, state of mind. Now, the young child was initially evaluated as critical at the scene. However, he was conscious and alert. He did not have to be intubated, and to the extent that he can, as a two-year-old, he was communicating with those who were taking care of him. He is in Children's Hospital. The incident commander at the scene told us that this is a great, great example of why people need to learn just the basics of CPR. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDK-TV News.